I care about our lives, our futures. No, you Take just your care time. about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Sylvanus, guide your path. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by goblin blade. Thank you, Roland. I'd die if I met Laroa can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need.
Sylvanas be with you. is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Oh, are those worse than Hogboglins? The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. Ready when you are. Hmm. 
the famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Any questions, children? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Like this. All right. Step, step, strike. Ah! Oh. I think you made it worse. Keep the advice to yourself next time. I could die if I met a robot. Swing, parry, strike. Ah! Oh. Damn, damn, damn. Again. Swing and swing and parry and now remember and again and Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Shoot. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. Wish you weren't, I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dog. Just soft 
Stays. Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? all about this pretty little place so she can burn it to the ground we'll be heroes blessed by priestess gut in the name of the absolute that fix our lads no matter how much of a beating they take could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off <gasps> mighty booyog the absolute is gold from the sky she is the blessing in the storm and the storm itself we're burning her name across the face of the world we are You're gonna be sorry! Every last one of ya! Oh, you teeth are all boring! To it. I could use the target practice. Druids. Who uses wooden? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Terrell fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days.
my forge. soften as he emits a pained squeak. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. gauging whether his chipped tooth is in fact life-threatening. Apparently satisfied, he beckons you with the squeak. Follow. This is ridiculous. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Please, leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much. Shame the goblins didn't kill me, too. We're exposed now. I'm just sad. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What'd I do for some salt? 
You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will search you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Tell her. But if she pulls out a pot of oil, run. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes. I may have something at home. Oh, whatever do you mean, Petal? Faye, I hope you're not calling me a dryad or... Bless us and save us, one of those Aladrin flighty buggers. I'm a simple woman, sweetie. Tea and potions are as exciting as it gets for these old bones. But enough nattering. I'll be heading home shortly. Here, let me mark it on your map. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal. Off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. No it. We're exposed now. Shame the goblins didn't kill me, too. Don't say that. I'm just sad. I'm bored. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Whatever we want. I think I'd make a fine <clears throat> teacher. Or a baker. Or a butcher. A butcher? And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? God, that sounds like heaven. Won't be long now. One more trip, then we can really rest.
times will come. You say that right, you're looking forward to it. I could use the target practice. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close.
this my forge?
Keep up now. You sound like you'll find the way. Blood excites me. Hells take me. What I wouldn't do for better tools. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. No, sir. But if there's a clear path... No helping it. We're exposed now. Time for that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not now. Please.
coming through. Your soul is in good hands. <laughs> you have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency.
That's curious. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Next. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Aridan's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our hides the first time. Without Halsin, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. Keep its eyes off me.
He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Any questions, children? This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Any questions, children? Swing, parry, strike. Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. They're all boring! Even your cages are boring! This is ridiculous! Remember! Oh, hey, you're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you, how you all live underground and steal kids away. Okay. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud! You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just... trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother... She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because. Oh, damn. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got.
you bought... You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. <laughs> 